Hey everyone, it's Chad here from adplugin.com and in this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can speed up your WordPress site with Google PageSpeed Insights. So let's start way back at the beginning here in 2010 when in this post, Google calls out that they're gonna be using site speed in their ranking algorithms. So Google has about 200 different signals or factors that they look at and here, they're basically sending a message out to webmasters that site speed is going to become a very important factor. Page speed is a measurement of how fast the content on your page loads. And if we fast forward a couple years later after the Google post, what they did was they created a product here called Page Speed Insights, which is a very simple and straightforward product actually. You basically just punch in your URL and then it's going to be analyzed and you're going to get a score. And what Google is saying here is a higher score is better, of course, and a score of 85 or above indicates that the page is performing well. So that's kind of what you want to aim for. And then they talk about a couple of their little items here, which you can read about a little bit later. Page speed insights, the page here is very Google-esque in that it's very simple and there's not really much navigation that's required. You just pop in your URL here and it will be analyzed for you to get your score. So let's start with Google since they're the creator of this product here. And let's see how they do, let's see how they measure up. So Google does pretty well on mobile and excellent on desktop. And we can take a look at my website score. So here I do just as well as Google, I get 78 and a 91 so these are excellent scores I mean yellow and green territory which is great we can also take a look at add plugin and 76 and 89 so I'm quite content with these scores here and once again as you go through here it will talk about the items that you that may need fixing some other stuff about rules that you've passed but I want to take a look and show you what a bad website looks like or how a bad website scores this website obviously scores really poorly in a bunch of areas. So 29 here on mobile, 32 on desktop, and this is not good. And, and this is typically what the page speed insights will call out in these different areas. And you see these time and time again. So I want to give you a real life example and, and maybe this will help you better understand what's going on here. Let's say I go into a retail store and I'm looking for customer service. If it takes me five or 10 minutes to find somebody, I'm gonna be pretty upset about that. That's not very helpful. Whereas when I go into a store, I wanna be able to grab somebody within one or two minutes if I do need help. So what Google is thinking here is they're saying, we want the user who visits your site to have a great experience. We want them to get the information that they want very quickly. And so when your site is loading slowly, that again is a signal to Google that something is maybe not right, maybe your website's a bit clunky, or the bottom line is that the user is gonna have an experience that may not be to their liking. So again, that's why the page speed insights item is very important in your web development and web design and site speed. So when you look at these things here, you can actually get definitions from the site itself, or as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna include this pose here from Moz, which is really good. And it basically gives you a brief description of each of those items that you'll see time and time again. With WordPress, there are a lot of plugins out there that can help you increase or improve your page speed score. And I've listed them here in the page speed category. But before we get into there, I wanna mention a couple of things. First off, it could be your theme that is hurting you with your score and so, you definitely want to think about your theme and review it and make sure that it is a lean and fast loading theme. Secondly, it's very much a trial and error process when you're playing around with plugins. I know for me, I was obsessed with getting a really good score and so it took me a day or two in trying the different plugins to find the ones that worked with my website and more importantly, ones that didn't conflict with my other plugins. What had happened was I had installed a plugin that conflicted with another plugin that I needed to run my site, and so ultimately I didn't use that plugin. So just to recap that, consider your theme and consider plugins in that they don't conflict 
with other plugins that you use for your site. So we can jump into here with the PageSpeed plugins. And I've listed a, a few here and they tackle each of those items and I'll include that in the description area as well. But I wanna call out two plugins in particular that a lot of folks recommend, the different WordPress blog sites. And we'll start with this one here in Apotomize. So basically what it does is it speeds up your website like the other plugins that you'll see on that page. But I find that it does a really great job of taking care of maybe what the biggest issue is a lot of the times. So you can try this plugin, very well respected, 100,000 plus active installs, a really good score. So this is a plugin that you definitely wanna try. The one thing I will call out with this plugin though, is this is the plugin I was referring to when it conflicted with my other plugins. So again, that's something you need to watch out for. But all in all, this is a highly recommended plugin to help speed up your WordPress site. The other plugin that I wanna call out here is one that I've been using quite recently actually, which is Short Pixel Image Optimizer. And so easy to use, lightweight plugin that optimizes your images and PDFs. And that's a big deal when it comes to the PageSpeed Insights. It's looking for you to have a website with images that are optimized. So quite a few active installs, a really good score here. It has a free and paid option for the plugin. The free option will give you a certain amount of images that it will refine and make lightweight, etc. And then if you need more images to go through the optimizing process, then you can get a the paid plugin for that. So the basic idea here again is to have a look at what your score is, check that out on the page Speed Insights page, and then see which plugins you can use in order to increase the speed of your website. You can find those plugins at adplugin.com. You can also Google and have a look out for them, but I guarantee you there are plugins out there that can increase your score so that you can rank better in Google search results. So once again, have a look at the description area for recommended plugins that tackle those different issues, play around with them, just make sure they don't conflict with anything else that you're doing with your website, and you'll be able to increase the speed of your website to get a better position in the Google search algorithms and rankings. Bye for now.